We're here at the Social Interaction Lab, located inside Elliott Hall, named after this man, Richard M. Elliott, on the University of Minnesota campus. To learn more about a recent experiment, let me tell you more about it. This is Chloe Hilsnitz, social psychology graduate student, competitive weightlifter, and lead researcher. One day, she was approached by this guy, Will Johnson, social psychology graduate student and Renaissance man. I'm working on a study with Jeff Simpson, PhD, a guy named Ohad, and a faculty member in the Carlson School of Management to research how cohabitating romantic couples make consumer decisions together. I want you on our team. My answer is yes. Well, it's got to be. They then set out to find the top undergraduate students to assist them as undergraduate research assistants. Dear undergraduate students, will you be a research assistant on our study? Sincerely, the graduate students. I was one of them. Dear graduate students, I'd love to. Sincerely, an undergraduate student. We then met to go over the study and discuss what we would be doing for the upcoming semester. So first, you will code the men's behavior, and then the woman's behavior. You'll be coding their behavior on a scale from 1 to 5. The different categories are relationship referencing, positive direct, positive indirect, negative indirect, and negative direct. Any questions? Do we get breaks? And then we were off. We were putting in nine hours a week, coding video after video. Some of the participants were high in relationship referencing and obviously in love. So which vacation do you want to go on? Which vacation do you want to go on? I want to go wherever you want to go. Well, I want to go wherever you want to go. I'm in love with you. I love you so much. And others, not so much. Where do you want to go? Anywhere that you're not. I hate you. Well, I hate you! The results were intriguing. We're being led on an academic mission that could potentially unlock the deepest secrets of the human mind. We slowly got through it and coded all the videos. Now the data is complete and Chloe and Will can start making sense of the data using all sorts of statistical analyses and will soon publish a scientific paper on the subject. As for me, I learned a lot about myself and how research works. I was finally a part of something bigger than myself. I was able to use the skills I learned from my courses and apply them to the real world. I'm not sure what lies ahead for me, maybe graduate school, maybe not. But being a part of this study was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. As for the team, some of us undergrads are graduating and moving on. Will and Chloe will soon have their PhDs. But the social interaction lab and the institution lives on. We did our work. But there's still a lot more to be done. Still more we don't know. We're getting closer. One study at a time.